Jada what? Tico has no affiliation or partnerships with anybody. Nobody. Just us. I mean, you know, I do like some tool influencers, some YouTube guys, but... Are you guys done? This is my show! Are prices? Yeah. What's up, guys? How you doing today? And welcome to another episode of JDTV. Co. I got a lot to talk about. First of all, we all know I'm on a, uh, I'm chipping in on the back nine of the golf course of not only of life, but of business. And uh, the other day I went to my tool truck. Now I got a fairly new tool truck, fairly low miles, and fairly well-maintained tool truck, okay? I go out there the other day, go to turn the key, nothing. It was a wrap. And uh, no click, click, like the dead, bed, dead battery. The batteries are fairly new. And uh, it just didn't want to start. So maybe it's a sign from God. I'll let you know. Okay? And maybe it's time to uh, park the tool truck and focus on this full time. Why chase dimes when there's plenty of dollars within Isn't grasp? True. Yes, I heard a rumor that someone. A said rumor? A that rumor? You should put Joe in the tool truck because <laughs> I don't want to do it. <laughs> No, thank you. Somebody, somebody called up and said, I, I said I was putting Joe in a tool truck. I'm saying, I, I go, Joe, Joe's a great, I love Joe. Joe's family. I know Joe for a long time. And Joe, listen. I would not survive in the tool truck. Someone, no, 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 no. Someone, someone else wouldn't survive. You'd probably shoot him. <laughs> Joe is not cut. Listen, there's no, no offense, Joe. Joe's not cut out to be in a tool truck. And neither is Nick. Neither am I. I barely am. Anyway, listening. <laughs> what do I know about the tool business and the tool route? I've only done it for almost 40 years. <sighs> anyway, I was in a good mood, Nick, just until you talked about that. <laughs> he was like, put Nick in the tool truck. Nick don't want to go in the tool truck. Why? Why would you leave? Yeah, you know, the other day my truck was very cold out. I go out there, my truck's dead in the door, dead in the door. I think the starter's bad. It, it, I, I think if you know what a Freightliner M2, why it's not doing anything and i know it's the, not the def it's not this it's not that it's got no power anyway i was like put nick in a tool truck put nick, nick in a tool truck i walk in there, i'm like nick my truck's dead he goes what are you gonna do i said i don't know he goes i don't know dad pretty warm in the shop today in the was, store today so anyway hey, let me do a little these guys like tools so i'm gonna give them a little smoke okay all the new milwaukee tools first of all we have a really good deal on these right yeah. We, have, we, have, we brought a lot of these in. When these first came out, we did a pre-sale on these. We sold hundreds and hundreds of them. Remember that back in the day? We sold a lot of those. We sold a lot of these through the years. They used to be fairly cheap, too. The price has gone the up. Price has, still... The price has significantly, significantly gone, significant, significantly, gone, I said, significantly, significantly, I said it perfectly. It's a C. What? It's a C? Significant. Sig, sig, you start that, you spell it with a C or an S? S, but like. Significantly. It's not significantly. Okay, Mr. College graduate, I apologize. I, I, I Listen, first of all, A, a high school dropout. B, I, I'm still dealing with a little bit of the uh, Bell's palsy, but let me tell you something. It's almost gone. Do you notice how, how good I've been talking lately? Yeah. I got this. I got, I got it. I got it beat! Okay. Anyway, these are on, we have these available on your app, website, call the store, walk in the door of the brick-and-mortar location. Yes, it's a brick-and-mortar location in Totowa, New Jersey. How much are these? Uh, $99. $99. That one goes in the trash. Yeah, this isn't a front. This isn't a front. This isn't a movie set. Although I do want to build a movie set. The extended ratchets are of are both in the store, in stock. We bought a lot of them. We've been buying every, anybody who's got them. We've been buying all their inventory, right or yes. wrong. Nick's like, how many got? 40? We'll take them. How many got? 60? We'll take them. How many got? 30? We'll take them. He's over there spending my money, my retirement fund. My vacation fund. Speaking of vacation, I got some good vacations coming up. Did you ever hear of Super Speeder Rob? No. You, no, no. Not a car guy. Joe, so you, you ever hear of Super Speeder Rob? I've heard of him. Danielle's heard of him too. Really? Yeah. Oh, I like Danielle. Got to bring her by. Super Speeder Rob is a guy in New Jersey. He he's an exotic car rental place, and he 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 does these vacation getaways. I'm doing two this year. I booked two of them. Put in the comments below. If I go to Italy and go vineyard to vineyard, what kind of car should I be driving? It's a good question, right? Yeah. Leave in the comments what you think I should be driving when I go to Italy and go vineyard hopping. Okay? And I'm going to uh, the Tale of the Dragon, ending up in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm, I'm doing some uh, scouting, and uh, I'm taking the Tool Grabber down. Now, Tool Grabber is a perfect, perfect vehicle for that, right? Yeah. 
perfectly. Wait, so Good. I mean, Good. if you want to be authentic Italian and go in your hot you need like one of those little two-seater Fiats. True story. Nothing fancy. I'm not driving a Fiat in Italy. A little two-seater stick trip. I'm not driving. Yeah, you you better get ready. Whatever they're going to give you is probably going to be manual. I can't drive a stick. You can't drive a stick. <laughs> <laughs> you can drive a stick. You're just lazy. <laughs> A true story, man. Give me the give me the old automatic all day, all day. The tool grabber isn't automatic. Okay, this ain't this ain't the car channel. Like this is the uh, tool channel. How much are these? Uh, Two forty nine bare tool. Doscientos cuarenta nueve para mi amigos. Oh, two forty nine. Two forty nine. Yeah, I said it right. Guys, you missed the segue. Two forty nine. 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 Two what are those things? Oh, what, what, Joe? I'm sorry, what? What are those things? These are, because your Snap-on deal, your Mac-o deal, your Mac deal, your independent deal is a lazy piece of sh**. Yes, I said that. Tell him I said that. He does nothing. All he is is a, le is a follower. If you're not the lead dog, the, the view never changes. So while your uh, tool dealer was doing nothing, I was embracing change. Okay? Here is the Milwaukee long neck ratchet. And you know, I'm the first person in the world to get boots made for Milwaukee tools besides the rubber ones they make. So I designed my own. And I said, hmm, why put just a little head cover on it when you can go deep? Yes, I said deep. Now these are the prototypes. And at the end of the day, I only went to the base. And then I said, we're gonna stop. What color should I get made? Leave in the comments what colors you think I should get made. Black? Red or green? Not you th blue. You thought I was going to slam it, didn't Any you? Any color but blue. Any color but blue. blue. Blue silly. Blue's my favorite color, Nick. Okay. These are... You know, this is, this is bad. I can't even see this. It's a six pound sledgehammer. If you're too much of a to swing the 16 pound, get the six pound. How much are these? Uh, 99. These are $99. These are EST wing, E S T wing, right? S wing. And Home Depot no longer carries them. We bought a pallet of them, and I have a bunch of this particular size. So if you can't swing the big dog, get the little one. You also have 12s too. 12s? Yeah. 12s, 16. I'm selling these today. I'm focusing on this size for a reason. Insta. Why? Why? We got a lot of these. We got a lot of the 12s as well. We got. We got a lot of the sixes. Okay. I want to sell the sixes. We got a lot of hammers here in general. <laughs> we should count how many hammers. I get you. I bet you we got. I bet you we got three hundred hammers in the building. What do you think? Two hundred? Yeah, we got a lot. A lot of hammers. I know. Your dealer's got six of them on a, on, on the shelf. Great guy. Guys, ninety nine dollars in stock. Send it. I guarantee you will not find a better price. <laughs> ah. Tricked you. Joe was like this. <laughs> okay. Bat straps. Yes. We we just got a re I hate when we run out of these. And we run out of these all the time. And the reason being, if we talk about them, they sell. And I I'm I would just see, you know, we got we have a, a we just got a fresh load of these in about a week ago, two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. about that. We're under a hundred sets left. Under a hundred sets left. <clears throat> so I think it's time to order more. Yeah, probably. If you have a Milwaukee tool or any battery operated tool, this will help and save it. I had a guy call today, his, his uh, casing's worn out, which he wants to change the casing. And I'm like, battery straps? He's like, yeah, I, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm too cheap, I don't want to buy them. Battery straps, right? 30 bucks, it's insurance for your tools. Money well spent. Listen, you buy a $100,000 car, and then you go buy a set of WeatherTech floor mats. Right? It should come with it. Your car didn't come with floor mats, but you bought them anyway, right? Sure. 30 bucks. It'll save your tool and save your ass. Hey Alexa, order me a thousand pack of white balloons. No. We got shadow banned. Right? On TikTok? On TikTok, yeah. On TikTok. You do a couple of funny videos with a white balloon, all of a sudden you got your shadow banned. Ah. Right? Do you think it had anything to do with the, um, what? the similarity, raging similarity to the um, spy balloon? So spy, we talk spy balloon. We upset the overlords. Listen, everybody thinks Snap-on is the best tool company in the world because they're marketing and expensive, right? Yeah. 
Our government spends $550 trillion on defense, and we didn't detect a little white weather balloon go across our country. Oh, we detected it. We just yeah. ignored it. Yeah, I'm sure we just ignored it. <laughs> Nothing to see here, boys and girls. We'll Nothing find, to see we'll here. We'll find the answer in the next set of emails. Oh, oh my God. Hey, guys. We haven't talked about our, our, the JDT called back probes in quite some time. If you need back probes, check out the app. What section would these be in, Nick? JDT Co. JDT section. These are our back probes. These are the curved ones. This is probably our most popular, right? Yeah, the curved and the flexible. Curved, very, very popular. The flexible, we sell a lot of these. I and I we have a lot, and they're one of our best sellers. How much are how much are these? The curved are ten or eleven, then the flexible are thirteen dollars. How much are the standards? Uh twelve. And then my favorite, these are the piercing back probes and there's two kinds of mechanics that pierce wires ones that lie and ones that do right yeah because everybody pierces wires i know you're not supposed to but you do it anyway how much are these uh 22. if you look at the little logo on here it's got a little girl on here joe close up give me the smoke it says go ahead what's that go ahead and tap that out. you know you want to stick it you know you want to stick it <laughs> Oh my God, I'm sorry guys. Okay, so I covered that, covered that, covered that. I covered a lot. Oh, yeah, I wanna cover this. Listen, YouTube guys, I feel bad for you guys sometimes, okay? I'll tell you why. Because every time I do a giveaway and talk about it, by the time you see it, it's already over, right or wrong. Yeah. So every time I do a giveaway, you guys miss it. And I'm gonna give you guys, I'm releasing this Friday, but this video should be popping off tonight, right? Mm -hmm. On Wednesday. So I'm gonna give you the exclusive mystery envelope, okay? And we're doing this Friday. And remember, when I ship this, this to ship this box is ten dollars, right? Nick? No. No? How much is it? Under nine dollars. Eight dollars, nine dollars. Yeah. Hey, hey, listen, guys. Listen, this is the Nick show, and I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I, I, these people can't see, but I could. Like, I see what you guys are doing, and I think this, this job is going to your head. I see the chairs you guys got. Oh. And I'm pretty sure you guys didn't pay for them. Well, that's what happens when you leave the company card on Amazon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Someone give me a company uh, credit card one day. <laughs> nice chairs, boys. Thank you. Thanks, boys. Okay. So, when, whatever I put in this box and sell to you guys... To do our giveaway, and we're gonna give away, I think we're gonna give away five Milwaukee impacts, or maybe we'll do the same thing as we did last time. We did three impacts, some screwdrivers, whatever. It'll, it'll all be broken down for you. We do these mystery envelopes, we sell a set amount of these, and inside there's gonna be coupons. I think we did 11 last time, and it's, it's, we gave away three Milwaukee impacts, screwdrivers, some other stuff, yeah. flashlights, some, stuff. some good stuff. Nothing, no junk. No junk. No, Milwaukee impacts junk? No, I'm saying no I junk. I should have set up for it, but I kind of like threw this in the last minute. And what are we gonna, and listen, so what you're gonna buy something of a fair value. I'm gonna charge you in a second, I'll tell you. So people you gotta remember this costs eight to ten dollars, eight to nine dollars a ship. Yeah. Under ten dollars, but ten dollars. Okay? And we have to get we have to, you know, we, we, the guy that puts them in there, it doesn't work for free. But I give you a fair value, okay? So I looked, I did the homework for you. So when you get it, you don't have to go, you don't have to screenshot and do a search and see how much you pay for it, because I did that for you. We determined that you're getting a deal. I on Amazon, this tool is selling for fifty-five dollars on Amazon. On eBay, it's selling for seventy-five dollars. I did this search for you this morning, and the funny part is, life is a double-edged sword. It hurts you or helps you. And I was gonna, and this is what I'm gonna sell it for because I I searched it for you, and I'm gonna sell for forty-five dollars, which is a very fair price. Correct. That's, yeah, that's more than reasonable. Yeah, I was going to do it for a little bit less. And then when I did the Google search, because I knew you guys were going to do it anyway, I was like, wow, I'm leaving some money on a table. So I'm going to do the extra 10 bucks in my pocket and uh, sell it for 45 Are we going to tell them what they're getting on Friday? No, it's going to be a mystery. Got it. But I did the, I did the Amazon search. It's a, it's, a, it's a tool, right, that everybody can use. And on Amazon, it's $55. And eBay, it's 75 And me... It's $45. And they're also getting a chance to win. And you're getting a chance to win three Milwaukee impacts and some other various tools that we will have. That's on our, a deal. On our, it is a deal. It is a deal. It's a real good deal because I gave it to you. Anyway. 
JDT Go Gricko, this is the world's best hand cleaner. Proudly made in the People's Republic of China. Whoa. No, That's... more like the People's Republic of New Jersey. <laughs> this fine product is made in New Jersey, okay? This is the best hand cleaner you can possibly buy, and the price of it is amazing. How much is this? Uh, $45 for a two-pack. 45 for a two pack, and we weigh it's like four and a half pounds or something like that. Yeah, it's a heavy, it's a heavy junk. And it smells, let me tell you something. I'll let you know a little secret, and I didn't know this at the time. This is the same scent as our JD Tico uh, tool detailer. Is it? Yeah, we were gonna change the color, but in order to change the color, they have to clean the machine. In order to change it to clean the machine, it was like it was expensive, it was like a crazy, absurd amount of. And the problem is they don't clean the machine, they just run the other color through it. So it takes like, I think it was like five, ten cases that would be like multicolored. I guess you're getting pink. You're getting pink. <laughs> 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 we tried, man. We wanted to make it green the worst way. We tried. So listen, I, 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 been, I prom promised to tell the story. Oh, we're going long. But I got to tell you this story. I'm, the last week it was cold as shit here in New Jersey. And my boiler decided to not stop working, but stop working. And it was really cold. It, would, it was, I think it was negative 12 or something, or 12 degrees, 6 degrees, I forget. It was very cold. So I'm laying in bed, right? Because it's kind of cold. I'm, you know, not really in the sleep mood. So I'm laying in bed. It's like 4 o'clock in the morning. I hear, like, what the f*** is that? So I thought my, my, my daughter, she dropped her phone or her remote. So I was like, ah, whatever, no big deal. Then 10 minutes later, the same noise. So I'm like... I'm like, you can't drop two remotes or two phones, right? It, you, you only have one. So I like, let me check room, make sure everything's okay. I go walk in the room. There's nothing on the there's nothing on the ground. Nothing fell. I'm like, ah, maybe I'm, maybe I'm hearing things. So now I, you know, I'm wide awake. It's like five o'clock in the morning, and I'm watching TV, and I hear. I'm like, what is that noise? So now I'm like, I'm going to grab my, and walk around the house and make sure everything's secure. Doing my best Charlie's Angel impression. I didn't want to shoot anybody. But. I figured I might as well get ready just in case something's gonna happen. So walking through the house, there's nothing out of place. Everything is neat as a pin. I live with an Italian girl, so my house is never a thing out of order. If this box belongs there, it's gonna go there, not here. Nothing's out of place. So I go back to bed. I'm like, I don't know what it is, but you know, it is what it is. So now I wake up, I'm, having, I'm making breakfast it's Saturday morning, and I hear, I'm like, what the? That noise has been going on for the last. I thought the snap on. I thought snap on corporate was trying to break in my house and kill me. That's what I thought, or some disgruntled tool dealer. So I'm in my kitchen. I hear the same. I look outside, and my wife left all the. We drink a lot of club soda or seltzers in our house, not alcoholic, just regular seltzers, and they're outside exploding one at a time every 10, 15 minutes. Could you imagine? I'm ready. I'm walking to my house. Seltzers. Seltzers. That's it. That's all I got for you. What's up, guys? Joe here for another 20 seconds. I'm out of the basement, but sometimes the basement is the only time I can, only place where I can find some peace and quiet. And Nick is, uh, interrupting this one we got some boots going see what i mean i can't i can't get any peace and quiet around but today i wanted to talk about one of my favorite characters from the bible which is king david who can be found in the books of samuel in the old testament he also wrote 73 of the psalms which i think is cool but david waited patiently for the lord and that's something that i need to know that's something that i think we all need to know because so many times i find myself in a rush where i have no patience but David realized that his courage and confidence came from the Lord because he had knowledge of God and he had knowledge of himself, who he is and who he isn't. And I think that is um, really telling for all of us because we all have that. Um, and that it, it should be the same for us. Like we should know who God is and we should know who we are. And then we can find what God wants us to do in the in-between there while reflecting these things in the light of the gospel of Jesus. So, um, I hope you take that with you, and I hope you realize that it's less about overcoming fear and more about receiving God's grace. I hope you guys have a great week. Stay blessed, and I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, listen, I went long. I always do. We still have some of these available. Silicone trays. And I know they, were, they used to be 150 bucks on the internet from everybody. 
we're gonna hear a trade ticket. We're gonna sell you sell you one for fifty or two for seventy five. That's an insane deal. We bought more. We talked about this on the last video. Nepro's five inch ratchets. How much are these? Uh, eighty eight. Eighty eight bucks. I don't know. Eighty bucks. And how much are the adapters? The uh, little... that one is thirty. That's a three eighths. This is the three eighths finger control thing for precision adjustments when you have to do a little. You might as well buy the best, boys and girls. 80 bucks, 30 bucks. 35. This is the Toyota Lexus oil filter wrench. This is not the aluminum one that's gonna break all the time and break your heart when you need it. This is steel. Remember, boys and girls, a train does not run on plastic or aluminum wheels. A train runs on steel wheels, correct? Sure. I'm gonna wrap this up. JDT. You're, not, you're just lying. I'm gonna wrap this up after talking about these JDT Mini Crimps for $19. I can run a little long, so make sure you cut, cut it up, make me nice, Joe. I, I don't wanna go, I hate when I go long. There's no such thing as long. No? No, you get as much footage as you can, and then you'll get the best possible video you can. You get the most footage as you can, and then you get the best video that you can. Nick's shaking his head. What, what's wrong, Nick? You want to okay. Nick wants to work today. Nick wants to work. Yeah, I got stuff. I actually have stuff I got to do. What do you do? Process orders. Really? Okay. Well, Make sure these guys get their tracking. Yeah, you guys. Yeah, they get angry. Listen, hang on. These, these are $19 mini crimps. It's a great deal and a great set. Buy them. It's got my logo on there. Hey, guys. Public service announcement, announcement time. If you buy tools from us or anybody, or if you buy anything from anybody, it's always a good to, a good thing to a update your address. Address, genius, right? Genius. It, update your address. If you move, update your address before you buy anything, whether it's toilet paper or you buy tools. And if you, and this again, not only us, but anybody. If you're going to call up the proprietor. Pro, pro, Proprietor. Proprietor. Proprietor of any said order that you have made. And you say, where's my order? What's your name? John Smith. I don't see any John Smith here. Oh, I use this name. Stop using your wife's boyfriend's name on PayPal. Right? Or just use your real name. It's amazing. I get it. And, and the best thing is when we're on... When we're on YouTube or, or Facebook or Instagram. Where's my tools? <laughs> That's my favorite. Where's my tools? Johnny A. Mechanic. Okay. <laughs> Let me look at my order for Johnny A. Mechanic. There's no Johnny A. Mechanic. So it, it, don't ask where your tools are when you don't have your proper name here. Call the store. Give us an order number. Or that works anywhere in the world you're buying from. Johnny A mechanic. I made that up, but that's that's that's, that's what that's what it, true, that's, true. What, that's what they do, you know? <sighs> Guys, have a nice day. And remember, come for the price and stay for the derailment of the train show.